just because you have a great idea and you have a great product doesn't mean that the world needs it. Uh, secondly, even if the world, according to you, needs it, the world, according to them, may not need it. I'll give you an example. So this is a great story about a man who actually invents the wheel. And as you can imagine, wheel is one of the most important inventions ever to be uh, invented, known as one of the greatest inventions of man. So our man, he invents the wheel. And uh, after he invents the wheel, he has to look for where to sell it. And where, where else do you think? So the story is set in Egypt. So where else do you think he can sell it except where the pyramids are being made? Because there are thousands of people working there, tens of thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of elephants and all of these bricks and all of this. Imagine the uh, pyramid site as it was working. So he goes there with the wheel and he looks around. He looks around for someone who looks very important. And he sees a foreman, you know, the guy who's running the overseer, who's running the entire thing. And he goes up to him. He sits in corner he does his calculation on a pad works there throughout the whole day market analysis market scan this that customer behavior he does all of that and in the end he comes up to this foreman and says you know what i have done a calculation and once you adopt my technology which is the wheel this people this 800000 people that you have here you can reduce it down to 100000 and that 20000 elephants that you have you need only 500 elephants once you get this wheel the, all friction will go away everything will happen Everything will be great. So what do you think happened to this uh, inventor? Uh, contrary to what you are thinking, and, and from that site. Now, you have to understand that if you go and tell an overseer that I am going to reduce your empire by bring it down to one tenth, and I'm going to take the assets that you have, the, the command and control that you have, and reduce it down to this much, it's very unlikely that you will be uh, given much of an audience or your idea will be given. So you have to understand that just because you have a great idea doesn't mean that the world owes you anything in that area. And very often I've noticed people who have got great ideas become very bitter because that idea is not being accepted by the people. And that could have many reasons, including the fact that it may not be such a great idea. Uh, it, it just because uh, you have aggregated uh, things that other people are not doing, and put it into one container doesn't mean that uh, uh, it's a great idea. And even if it's a great idea, remember the ideation is only part of the journey. There is a much longer journey in terms of taking that idea and actually making rubber hit the road. And you need to have the stamina to do that. Uh, one of the uh, one of the key ingredients of entrepreneurship is not the brain thumping ideation or the creative spirit that happens. It's sheer stamina. It's the sheer stamina to take that same idea go to a decision maker after a decision maker after a decision maker get rejected again and again and again before you succeed uh, that is true for some of the most brilliant authors in the world you're aware that jk rowling's book harry potter was rejected like, scores of times dozens of times she didn't change the story same story it was the same idea but she required the medicine the the stamina that was required to keep taking that hard medicine on a daily basis and and still keep going back and hitting the ground that because your idea has failed, you are not an entrepreneur. You are still an entrepreneur. Maybe it's an idea whose time has not come. Maybe it's a resource base that has not yet been thought through. A uh, Bill Gates wouldn't have been a Bill Gates had he been born five years earlier or five years later. Many are aspects which are you have to be there at the zeitgeist, and luck does play a fairly important part. But like any game of skill and luck, eventually the instances of luck will even out, and a more skillful player will beat the less skillful one. So I think. The only control you have over is to make your uh, uh, skill really good, your competence good, your hard work better, get an alliance of uh, uh, mentors around you, people who can discern, people who can believe in your ideas.